this is Jeanette from Happy Spots and Ink Spots. In today's video, I'm going to be using my Copic markers and coloring in the folds of this dress. I'm going to be using um, this Whiff of Joy image, which will be available September 1st, 2011 at the Whiff of Joy store. And um, I'll take you through all the steps um, of how I achieve this look. Right now I'm showing you the markers that I used. You can see that they're all in the B series. Um, and we're going to get started. I stamped my image on um, Nina cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm going to be starting with B00. And you're going to see what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding that to the areas where I want to achieve the most shadow when I'm, when I'm all finished my coloring. So underneath that bustle there, um, there would be a shadow from that. So I'm coloring that in. And then I'm going to be coloring along the fold line right there. And you can see that I extended a little bit past it, coming down along the edge there, and then down another fold line. And you can see that I'm holding my pen quite loosely, and um, I'm extending past the lines a little bit, um, trying to give it a very nice, light, flowing touch that's going to help me have a nice, natural look when I'm finished. So I'm coloring in that area there. That looks like it's sort of sitting inside um, a fold. Coming down here a little bit, there would be a shadow. And then along this last fold line here. So you can see I'm just sort of following the line and extending a little bit past. I'm going to now sort of join the edges along the bottom of the dress. And then I have that big white space where there's that sort of big overlap. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add in another fold just along the center. Um, and that's going to um, just achieve a little bit more movement in the dress. So now I have that laid down and I like the look of it. So I'm going to go to my um, lightest shade, which is uh, B000. And you can see I'm just going over that a little bit, softening out the edges of the lines. Um, and this is going to help blend because I have so many colors and because I have such a lot of contrast um, with my coloring. Right now I really want to make sure I'm getting everything sort of blended out. Um, it'll make my um, job easier towards the end of my coloring if I've got a lot of blending already done. So I'm just softening out all those lines with that lightest shade. The next color, B21, um, it's a little bit darker and it's also a little bit grayer um, than the other two I've just used. And I chose it purposely because it's more gray. Um, that's going to help um, sort of give um, more shadow to the, the dress and also make it look a um, little silky um, because of that sort of deeper gray um, in it. So again, I'm just going right on over all those sort of lines I've already colored in, just adding all my color in. You don't have to be rigid when you're doing this. It's nice to have a, a loose touch. So I'm just coming down along and um, you know if you have to move your paper that's fine. Um, move it to an angle where it's, it's easy for you and more comfortable for you. So again I'm just sweeping up in that middle area there. Okay so that's done. I'm going to take my B00 again. And again, I'm just going to try to soften out that line a little bit. It's not so pronounced. And you can see that I'm not spending a whole bunch of time doing that. Just very quickly, very lightly. Just want to make sure that I'm blending out those harsh lines. So the next color I'm going to be taking is my B00 again. And again, I'm just softening out the lines. Going 
and long and I've already colored softening it up a little bit and if you notice I always sort of work into my color I never work outwards so I always sort of work into where I've already colored that way I don't move um, the dark tones I don't move them away from where I want them to be Now I'm taking B91. Again, it's a light color, but it has a lot of gray in it, so it, it has even more gray um, than the last color we used. And I'm going along the periphery again. Now I'm not coloring over everything I've already colored now. Rather, I'm laying down a deeper sort of line. As you can see, I'm not coloring over everything I've done. And you can start to see that the folds now are taking shape. At this point, too, I'm trying to be careful that um, I'm not leaving any little white spaces along those lines, just trying to get it all filled in. Now, um, this is just the way I color um, folds and clothes. I'm sure there's a lot of other ways that other people do it. So um, this is just what works for me. Um, and I encourage you to try it out. And of course, you know, work with it um, in the way that's going to work for you. So now I'm taking my B00. Uh, and again, that's just for the purposes of trying to sort of blend away that harsh line. Okay, just don't, I don't want that. Um, that's going to ruin the look. So I'm again, just blending it all out. Um, another thing which is, is um, sort of a good tip is to make sure that your, your markers are nicely filled, that there's a lot of um, ink in them. Um, so that um, you don't have to work so hard. Um, the minute you have to start working hard when you're blending with a marker, that's probably when you should um, refill it. So you can see also I'm, I'm really um, making sure that I have nice bands of um, uncolored areas too. There I'm just working a little bit of the color up into that white portion. I thought it was a bit it was a bit too much white. Now I'm taking the darkest color I'm going to be using, and that's B93. And I'm just adding it, not everywhere, but just in the areas where I would have the deepest, deepest shadow. So I'm just sort of adding that in, um, really working with just the point of my marker at this point. And um, getting all those little areas that would be the darkest. So down in there, in here, coming down that fold line again. And again, make sure you don't leave a little sort of line of white in between. So now I'm being more measured too with what I'm doing um, because I don't want too much dark going on. Coming down into the back here, where it would be darker, and along the bottom. And I'm going to go into that, just down, down into the center. Alright. So that's my darkest shade on. And now I'm going to have to blend out those harsh lines. So I'm going to be working with my lighter marker, so I'm going to take my B21. And I'm just going to go in and I am going to blend out as much as I can those harsh lines. 
So you don't you want to blend out the line and you don't want to push um, your dark color back. Okay, there's a bit of a difference there. So I'm very, very lightly going over everything. Um, you can see that I'm really not putting very much pressure um, on my marker at all. So now I've got my B double zero and I'm doing the same thing. Just working on those sort of lines and anywhere where I see that the the color is not even, I'm working working to blend that out. And before when I was using my darker color, I was using the tip, and now you can see I'm I'm I've got my marker slanted a bit, so I'm using more the side um, of that super brush. Now I've got my B treble zero, my lightest shade, and again I'm working on those outer edges, but I'm making sure to leave um, an area that is still uncolored. That area is getting smaller as I color, but there is still an area that is white. So I'm working up that edge again and just trying to brush out anything that doesn't look nice. Here I'm trying to lighten along the edges a little bit. And you can see as I'm working on that that as it goes into the darker color, it pushes it aside a little bit. Now I'm taking my colorless blender and I'm putting it directly onto those white areas and moving outward and what I'm doing is this is my final blend. So you see I'm working again sort of with the side of the brush and I am just blending everything out and pushing you know some color back out of the areas if I think there's too much dark there. And try not to overwork one area too much um, because the colorless blender um, continues to work um, after you've, you've laid it on. So it's always good to work on a little area and then move to another. Um, because the blender will continue to work um, after you've taken your pen off the paper. So now I've blended out those lines, so the white is sort of blending in now. So now is the time to go in and just, you know, fix up areas um, that need, you know, a little bit more color in them more blending. So I've got my B treble zero and I'm laying that in and you can't tell but my paper is, is quite saturated now with all the markers I've been using um, so it's blending, it's blending nicely. So I'm just taking a moment to look at it and now I'm going to add my B double zero because I felt that that area needed needed a little bit um, darkening. And I'm just sort of, you know, adding it here and there, darken up some of the areas. So you can see it's it's something, it's a process. You have to go back and forth um, until you're satisfied with the look. So thanks for joining me. I hope this helped.